So what has happened under your very nose while you're, while, while you're going about your daily affairs is that some of you have children, some of you have family members that are going to churches right now where their so-called preacher gets up in the pulpit and he tells them, it's okay, Jesus is a way, but there are other ways too. He gets up in the pulpit and he tells the people, you know, homosexuality is really not all that bad because it's just another sin, if they call it a sin. He gets up in the pulpit and he begins piece by piece by piece to undermine your very faith. People are so offended today. I've never seen anything like it in my life. When I go back and I preach what the old timers used to preach, when Peter said, neither is there salvation in any other, for there is no other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. Christ himself said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Did he not say that? Of course he said that. Because he's God. So, I'm not looking for the religion of the Antichrist. It's already here. I'm in a mortal battle with it every day of my life. That's what I'm preaching to you about this morning. But the bottom line is that we have a whole generation of people that have been raised up that doubt completely the story in the Bible about the Lord Jesus Christ. And they believe that he was just another one like us, but he had a special anointing on him. He had a special spirit that came upon him. The Holy Spirit came down like a dove and anointed him. He, the Bible says in the book of Acts, he anointed Jesus of Nazareth with power of the Holy Ghost. He was anointed of God. The anointing of the Lord Jesus Christ was the anointing of God upon God. The Lord said unto my Lord, sit thou at my right hand. My God, even my God. The Lord Jesus Christ is God himself. He's God, a very God manifest in flesh. But every last one of them refused to say that there is a Lord God Almighty seated on a throne that spoke all of this into existence. They absolutely refuse to say that because they are accountable to Him if they believe, accept, and, 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 and confess that He is God, then they know that they've got to give an accountability for their sin. And they absolutely refuse to do that. So the spirit that's in the classrooms, in the colleges, the spirit that is in the churches, houses, the spirit that is running the governments, the spirit that is everywhere you're going to face it when you get up and walk out that walk go to work tomorrow you're going to live in the midst of people who have that same spirit it's already here it is the spirit of antichrist it is the message coming from many different quarters with many different spins but eventually they're saying the same thing that we're all a brotherhood it doesn't matter what your religion is, just do the best you can in it. And we're evolving upward and onward and bigger and better. And that is exactly what that man of sin is going to preach when he shows up and he's about ready to show up.